Shares of CVS are jumping 4% today as the company's first investor day in two years is underway. Although the shares are also still down more than 35% from their peak nearly two years ago. Among the key highlights today, CVS is overhauling prescription drug pricing at its pharmacies, upending the traditional system. For more, let's bring in our own Bertha Coombs, who is at the conference, joined by Karen Lynch, the CEO of CVS Health. Bertha and Karen? Hi, Kelly. Thank you very much. Karen, thanks for joining us. You know, you've done quite a lot in your more than two and a half years. You've set out to uh, acquire primary care, acquire home care. You've done that. And now, next year, you're facing all these challenges with the loss of the pharmacy benefit contract from Centene, a very big one. You've also got lower reimbursement rates on uh, Medicare Advantage, higher employment costs, and yet you've raised your outlook when it comes to revenues next year. How are you making this happen? Yeah, Bertha, so it's nice to be here today. You know, first, if you look back two years, we've accomplished everything we said we'd accomplish. We, we said we wanted to enter into primary care, we wanted to enter the home, we wanted to enter into physician enablement. We've done that. We said we wanted to reduce our operating cost structure. We've done that. We said we wanted to uh, Im- improve health outcomes and in, in patient engagement. We grew 20 million um, digital customers with you know, reaching 55 million unique digital engagements. As we look um, to next year, it's actually a really exciting year for us. You know, we talked today about our growth in Medicare Advantage. We're going to grow over 600,000 Medicare Advantage members. We're introducing new pricing models in our PBM and in our pharmacies to really drive at what consumers value. For us and our company, it all starts and ends with the consumer. And we're really excited about the products and services and the integrated model that we have to offer to our customers. You talked a lot about the flywheel and how one part, like Oak Street Health and Primary Care, helps feed to another. The Signify Home Care helps feed to the the pharmacy. But let's talk about that new pricing model, the uh, cost vantage and true cost. This is something that your critics have been talking about for years. And over the last year, you've had members of Congress try to get at it. You've got the FTC has been looking at all of the big pharmacy benefit managers. And then you've got competitors like Mark Cuban's Cost Plus, which won out a big client in uh, California Blue Cross. So how is this an answer to all of those, those pressures? Yeah, you said it right. There is in, increased um, scrutiny over the cost of pharmacy uh, and drugs. And as a company, you know, as I said, we're committed to lowering the overall total cost of health care. And what this does, it essentially aligns the economics of our pricing for drugs to what consumers will pay at the pharmacy counter. So essentially, what people have been saying, we don't understand. It's not transparent. It's not easy to um, understand how, you know, how much drugs cost. We're changing that. We're a leader, and this is our opportunity to chart a new path to change pharmacy drug pricing, and we're doing that.